Hi, good morning. It is 11.19 and I woke up at like 8 something. I've been here for way too long. Basically, um, today's a super exciting day, and I totally forgot to mention this yesterday, but at 1 o'clock today, um, I am Skyping with a class from Massachusetts who has read, um, marked, and has some of them are reading Chaste, and, um, yeah, I get to Skype with them and kind of do, like, an author visit, but through a screen, um, and my aunt has a sister who teaches at the school, so that's how, that's how this all happened, so that was super cool, and so, yeah, I have to look presentable for that, meaning I'm gonna put a beanie on, um, and I also need to start thinking about a plan B for the writer character in Rings, because the person I wanted to cast has not written me back for, like, three days, and I'm just like, you know what? Oh, well, so... I'm gonna look through all those auditions again and figure out what the heck I'm going to do. I'm also waiting on responses from two other people, two adults, um, and they both asked me, like, what type of cameras I use and stuff, so I wrote them back and I told them, and one of them that was two days ago and one of them that was yesterday, so I can't offer the roles to different people until they deny it, so... Yeah, so that's happening, uh, but I need to go downstairs, have breakfast, and do all that stuff. Um, I felt like I was like, oh, I'm not doing anything, but it's literally because, like, the only school subject I have left is my math test that isn't due until May 14th, which I'm gonna do that today anyway. Um, but then, and then the Skype call, and my friend and I might do a practice photo shoot for her prom pictures after school, but I'm not sure if that's still happening, but I didn't want to plan anything unless, in case, in case if it was, so... I think she's gonna text me later to kind of confirm stuff um but I gotta do that and then yeah um just some other little stuff too answer emails that's a big thing um yeah I'm finally trying on this new shirt I have today I think I might actually put some mascara and stuff on since I'm gonna be on camera in front of people I don't know I'll figure it out but I'm trying to decide if I should wear my beanie or not or take like my hair out I don't know I'll figure it out. Now I need to go downstairs and have breakfast, even though it's 11.35, but that's okay. All right, so we're about nine minutes away from when I'm supposed to have this call with the kids. Um, I'm nervous as all get out um, because, you know, I'm going to be talking. By the way, these are middle schoolers, by the way, so the, the language was a little severe, um, I'm not surprised. I don't think I'm but I guess here. that's fine. No, the middle schools here would be no. like, you said the word hell, you're out, like, you're you know. Right. Oh, uh, but I mean, there's like the F-bomb in there sometimes, like, okay, I mean, they probably all like sign like a permission slip, like, from do. home, because like, there's no like bad scenes in it, it's really just language, that's it, um, unless they went through and crossed out the bad language in every single part of the book, um, but yeah, I'm excited, but I'm nervous, we're gonna see how this goes. I'm hoping like Skype won't fail me and Skype is lit. Normally Skype is pretty good. Like I've, you know, Skyped with Rami from Uruguay and it's been fine. So this is only, you know, a little bit up. They're in Massachusetts, so eek. <laughs> okay, that was officially the coolest thing I think I've ever done in my entire life. Um, My mom took a hold of pictures and videos for me, so I'm gonna put together the, uh, like, a video now and I'm gonna post it in here so that's what you'll see next but oh my gosh that was so cool being an author um as I said I kind of was just like I have an idea and I don't want it to be a film let's try a book you just kind of got to get past it and be like I know I can do it so I'm gonna do it and then just go for it and it just developed and it was there and I was like all right that's got to be told so it just kind of went boop, and I was like okay plot oh my a conflict yes oh my gosh yes Oh, no, 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 don't be scared. It's okay, I'm scared too. I'm sitting here shaking, it's okay. That's a question that I actually know the answer to 110%. The author's name is Alexandra Bracken. She is the author of a series called The Darkest Minds. If you read the book, you actually might find some similarities that I didn't mean to be in there, but since I'm so heavily influenced by her, it just happened and I was like, oops. Yes, 110% yes. Whether I realize it or not, there's always a small part of me that goes into every single character. Like, the characters, to me, like, 
if they want to share their story with me, they will. So I am now re-watching all of the auditions I got in for Ryder uh, because I need to choose a different person. So this is like round two of Ryder casting. Um, so I've written down everyone and I'm going through and I'm watching auditions again. I just want to leave and my dad's parked behind me. Well, now I will be taking my dad's car, but I'm on a movie spree. I'm trying to unlock the car. Because I'm gonna go see Ready Player One. So I'm actually at a different movie theater than I'm normally at. Um, I'm at the one that has bigger seats and comfier seats. Um, and I have free um, tickets, or I have a free pass. So I'm hoping it'll still be valid and work. Um, Cause that's the whole reason I came to this theater. <laughs> I am back from the movie and it was really good. It was a really good movie. I really loved how it was like half a virtual world, half the real world, and it was the uh, just visual effects were incredible. I don't even want to know how many people worked on that film for those visual effects. That was wild. Um, I loved the storyline. It was a very unique idea that worked and I could see where it wouldn't have worked in some ways, but they executed it very, very well. Um, and it definitely, it worked, at least for me. Um, I finished most of my to-do list today. The only things I didn't get done on my to-do list were to do the IMDb for the opioid project, do my math test, neek, but as I said, not due until May 14th, so it's okay. 13 days away. Um, and then, what else did I not do? Shoot. I didn't text my friend Caitlin, but I forgot to put that on there, and I'm gonna do that right now. Um, but I forgot to do one other thing. What was it? Oh my goodness. I forgot to do the IMDb and I forgot to do the map. Maybe that was it. I think that was it. That might have been it. Um, yeah, so I need to take a shower um, and I need to go to bed. Uh, I posted about uh, doing the author read or the author visit and people have been so sweet on Instagram comments and I haven't like liked or any of them or responded to them yet, but oh my goodness, they're so sweet. And it just... People are really nice. People are really nice and it makes me feel really happy and yeah, I just, it just means a lot when people care about what I'm passionate about and I can share it with people and they don't want to go, yeah, that's boring, please shut up because that's how I feel like it is a lot of the time. So I just kind of keep my mouth shut. So that's why I can talk on here because the people who watch these are the people who actually give a crap. So... <laughs> So I don't care if it's two people or if it's 20 people. The fact that you guys care means a lot. So thank you for coming along on this wild, crazy ride with me. And it's going to continue for a very long time. Uh, at least I, I'm foreseeing it to. Uh, yeah, I'm going to take a shower and stop being sappy. All right, I'm going to finally go to bed. Um, <laughs> just got out of the shower and did all that good stuff. And I'm hungry, but like, no. Um... Eating before bed is not a good idea. Um, but yeah, so thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed all my social media as well as the P.O. Box. The rings, Cast and I are in the description. I love you all. Bye.